In this video, I'll show you how to install the virtual machine that we use in the lab on your own uh, desktop machine or laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and assume you followed the directions and installed the Oracle virtual machine and you downloaded the um, VirtualBox image. So what you do is you start the Oracle VM VirtualBox and you click on File, not on New, but you click on File and you do Import appliance and then you have to load this one up that you downloaded so I have it on my desktop and here it is so you give it the OVA file name and you hit next uh, it has a bunch of settings you just click import and this takes some time it takes around three to four minutes to import this whole thing uh, into your um, Oracle virtual machine. So my recommendation of course is while you're waiting is to use the World Wide Web to entertain yourself. Okay so it's finally loaded it into the um, virtual box so I can start it and this is gonna look just like uh, the virtual machine in the labs. Okay, so again, just like the lab machines, I have a home directory for the users. I have this uh, web directory. This is what Apache is serving. Uh, so any files inside here, this is actually the Apache web servers directory. So I can come in here and um, edit this file. So I can open it first. If I open it like this, I'm opening it as a file. So you can see in Firefox here, it says this is a file. But if I give it localhost, I get the same file, but now I'm actually getting it from the web server. And I can start up my applications here. I can go and open Atom. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit the web page. Welcome to my virtual machine. I'll save this. So I'll come back here. Um, Unfortunately, Mozilla's Firefox is not too smart in detecting when uh, HTML page has been changed. So it thinks that there's no changes, so it's not updating this web page. It's actually using it from the cache. You can hit Control, Shift, and R, and it forces a hard refresh. And you can see this is refreshed. Now, one thing that's interesting is when I close the machine, so I'm going to save it. Unlike the lab machines that even if you saved it when the laptop is rebooted it actually refreshes the uh, Virtual box image back to the original image. So that essentially every time you reboot you're back to the beginning So you have no changes can be saved in this case if I start it It's going to pick up right where I left off on my virtual machine. So it's actually like restoring the state It's kind of like waking up from a hibernation and it's going to save all the changes I made